one of the more important features that any teacher is going to use is the web links area. And I have it open here on the left. This is a library, or what I call a library, of web links that a teacher can use at any time to push out to their students or lock their students into any web link that they might have. Now, web links, you will see all the web links from all of your different teachers in your account. The reason we do that is let's say if one teacher is sending a student to like the Denver Zoo and another teacher is doing the same thing, why duplicate the account, the uh, link? All they need is one link. If a teacher does want to see just the links that they've created, they can click this button right here that says My Web Links Only. And you see there, it just brings up the web links that I have created. If I uncheck it, it opens up everything here. You will also notice that some web links, um, that with web links, you can take some web links and you can put them into collections or folders of web links. Very easy to do. All you have to do is select the web links that you want to, hit Create Collection, name that collection, and hit Create. Now it's moved those two web links in that collection. Very easy to do and very simple. But also notice it left those web links out here on the main page. That's so that other teachers can use those other same single web links if they would like to or not. Very kind of a neat system that we have here. To create a web link is very easy. What I usually tell people to do is go to the site that you want to go to. So if I wanted to, my students to go to NASA student, I would search for NASA student here. And I'm going to click on it. And I just open up the website. Now to create the web link, I just copy the URL. Go back to the device console. Hit create. I name it. Copy in the web address. And click save. And now I scroll down here. And there's my NASA student web link that I can push out to my students at any time that I want to. Very easy, very simple. Just like with everything else we do, if you want to delete a web link, all you have to do is click on it and select delete. Now, you can only delete the links that you've created. You cannot delete somebody else's link. Please be careful on that. Another thing you can do is create a custom block list. Now this block list of websites that you create here will only be locked, be blocked, excuse me, when your classes are active and just that one class, that is it. I have put cool math games in here and it's very easy to do. You just add, type in the URL and hit save. You might be an English teacher and you don't want your students to be on cool math games while they're in English. You can just add that URL into your system. There's also a way that you can copy those blocked URLs from the URL list. And there's my, it's added all those in there for me. And I'll show you how you can add from recently closed. Any tabs that I've recently closed for my students, I'll be able to add to that list also. I'm going to take these three back off and delete them out of there. And that's web links. Once again, you have a collection of websites that you can use and create here so that you can push them out to your students at any time. Now, don't worry. You can create those web links on the fly while you're using teacher tools also. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Thank you.